Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral. Integral from 0 to infinity x to the a minus 1 times uh, k v of x dx. Here, uh, k v of x, uh, we know, modify uh, with a function of the second kind. So, how to begin? Well, uh, first, i uh, is equal to integral from 0 to infinity here we have x to the a minus 1 then uh, here we have modified vessel function so we have the integral representation of modified vessel function uh, this is the representation integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x hyperbolic cosine of y times hyperbolic cosine of v times y d y and here we should write dx okay we can uh, rearrange this uh, integral from 0 to infinity hyperbolic uh, cosine of v times y then integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x hyperbolic cosine of y times x to the uh, a minus 1 dx d y okay here we have integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x hyperbolic cosine of y times x to the a minus 1 dx so let's evaluate uh, this integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x uh, times hyperbolic cosine of y times x to the a minus 1 dx okay uh, to evaluate this integral uh, first i am going to take a substitution i am going to take x times hyperbolic cosine of y here hyperbolic cosine of y we know constant so here t then if we differentiate uh, hyperbolic cosine of y times dx is equal to uh, dt so we can plug in we know a limit also 0 to uh, infinity here e to the uh, minus x times hyperbolic cosine of y t so e to the minus t times now uh, here x x uh, we can isolate here t over hyperbolic cosine of y so t over hyperbolic cosine of y raised to the a minus 1 times dx we have dt over hyperbolic cosine of y okay then uh, we know this hyperbolic cosine of y uh, and here hyperbolic cosine of y to the a minus 1 here hyperbolic cosine of y so uh, minus 1 and uh, this function uh, get cancelled so we have uh, here uh, hyperbolic cosine of y raised to the minus a integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times uh, t to the a minus 1 dt then uh, we know this is uh, just uh, gamma function gamma of a so we have here gamma of a times hyperbolic cosine of y raised to the minus a therefore here our integral integral from 0 to infinity so we know i is equal to integral from 0 to infinity uh, hyperbolic cosine of v times uh, y then uh, for this integral we have gamma of a hyperbolic cosine of y so gamma of a times hyperbolic cosine of y raised to the minus a dy okay then uh, we can simplify gamma of a constant so gamma of a integral from 0 to infinity here hyperbolic cosine of v times y over hyperbolic uh, cosine of y raised to the uh, a power here dy well uh, then uh, we know hyperbolic uh, cosine of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 so we can uh, plug in here uh, gamma of a gamma of a integral from 0 to infinity now here e to the uh, vy plus e to the minus vy over 2 
uh, times instead of hyperbolic cosine of y raised to the a we have 2 to the a over e to the y plus e to the minus y raised to the a power d y okay uh, let us simplify now here 2 here 2 to the a so we have 2 to the a minus 1 gamma of a integral from 0 to infinity now we have e to the vy plus e to the minus vy over e to the y plus e to the minus y raised to the a power then both numerator and denominator i am going to multiply by e to the minus a y so here also e to the minus a y d y okay uh, now uh, we can multiply and we can simplify so we have 2 to the a minus 1 times gamma of a integral from 0 to infinity uh, here in the numerator i am going to take uh, e to the uh, minus y as a common factor so here we have a minus v plus e to the minus y times here a plus v over now here if we multiply the denominator uh, here e to the minus a times y so we have 1 plus e to the minus 2 times y raised to the a power dy okay then uh, I am going to take a uh, substitution here we have e to the minus 2 times y so uh, I am going to take e to the minus 2 times y is equal to t then uh, we know dt is equal to minus 2 times e to the minus 2 times y dy then uh, here dt is equal to minus 2 e to the minus 2 times y we know t times dy well uh, then we can plug in so we have uh, 2 to the a minus 1 gamma of a integral from uh, here now limit we know uh, 1 to 0 uh, here e e to the uh, minus y so we know e to the minus y t to the 1 half so we have t to the a minus v over 2 power plus t to the a plus v over 2 power over 1 plus t to the a times now here uh, dy dy we can isolate by here so we have minus dt over 2 times t here uh, 2 to the a minus 1 here 2 so 2 to the a minus 2 times gamma of a integral from now uh, we can change uh, 0 to 1 when we change the boundary this minus sign uh, get cancelled so here we have t to the a minus v over 2 then here t so minus 1 plus t to the a plus v over 2 uh, minus 1 over 1 plus t to the uh, a power times here dt okay uh, then uh, let's recall the uh, gamma sorry uh, beta function we know uh, this uh, formula beta of mn is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 plus x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x to the m plus n uh, dx so uh, we have uh, this type of integral so we can convert uh, to be the function so we can write now uh, this is equal to 2 to the a minus 2 times uh, gamma of a times uh, now uh, beta of uh, here we have a minus v over 2 comma a plus v over 2 okay then uh, we know the relation between beta function and gamma function beta of mn is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n 
so now we have uh, here 2 to the a minus 2 times uh, gamma of a uh, now here uh, gamma of a minus v over 2 uh, gamma of a plus v over 2 over here uh, gamma of a minus v over 2 plus a plus v over 2 okay then uh, we know here uh, v get cancelled a over 2 a over 2 we have here gamma of a so gamma of a uh, again uh, get cancelled and uh, we have 2 to the a minus 2 times uh, here gamma of a over 2 minus v over 2 times gamma of a over 2 plus v over 2 okay this is the required answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching